Uh, good afternoon, everybody, and welcome to Castle Parks for the final game uh, this season against Jersey Reds, not the potato, the rugby team. And the occasion is uh, one of difference, really, because this young man I'm going to talk to next is probably best seen in front of the camera with a microphone in his hand. We're going to change that a little bit today because I'm going to speak to a fellow you know his face. First question I'm going to ask him, first of all, is... Michael, what's the Casey name, what's the John name? Where's all that come from? So uh, Casey's my uh, surname, but uh, you know, in a profession as my anonymity uh, needs to be uh, respected. And so John's my middle name, and that's the one that I use on a very popular social media outlet that I, that I use. And normally you're asking the questions and you're not on the other end of the camera or the microphone, are you? That's correct, yeah. Normally yes, you've, you've relieved me of my duty for today, Paul, and uh, I'm going to be answering some of your questions. I hope you've got some good ones for me. Well, the thing about this is, uh, Michael, it's not quite the straight interview you might have thought of initially. Because I'm going to first of all ask you, what brought you to Castle Park in the initial phase? Oh, you know, it's, it's a good question going back a few years ago now, but basically they're the only ones that offered me a job. You know, I tried everywhere, everywhere else that I could possibly, honestly, anything. But uh, in the end, Castle Park, the only ones that employed but me. But what is your job here? Does anybody really know? <laughs> That's an even better question. I've, served, I've been here six years now and I'm still trying to figure that one out. So let's look back over your, your life skills, really. What made you think that you were some kind of journalist? Well, I always did very well in spelling tests at primary school, and I was never very good with numbers, so I thought, journalist may be better than accountant. You're a confident person, but could you say that confidence is based really on alcohol-induced confidence? Uh, possibly, occasionally. I'll certainly be having a couple before tonight's presentation to uh, hopefully uh, improve a bit of Dutch courage before the uh, awards get announced, so I uh, look forward to that. So when we talk about uh, rugby... That's all you talk about when you come down here, isn't it? You talk about rugby. And uh, Clive Griffiths, director of rugby down here, why do you always talk about rugby? Well, have you tried talking to Clive about anything else other than rugby? Well, I've not personally, because I don't move in those kind of circles, but I, I thought an interesting question to Clive, maybe something along the lines of, who does your hair? <laughs> you don't think that's a serious question for a director of rugby? No, I know, but you see, Clive takes his personal appearance very, very uh, seriously. You know, he's a man in the public eye. He's got a, a reputation to uphold and uh, an image to go with that. So I'd imagine that whoever does his hair, whoever he entrusts with such a arduous and uh, important task, is obviously a very capable man or woman of, uh, of scissors. Of standing, of course, for, for a person like Clive Griffiths, but have you ever really considered interviewing him about his, his real name? I've never really, I've always taken Clive's name at face value, that, he, that he's in fact called Clive Griffiths, I've never questioned that, I've always, you know, he's a man of honour and integrity, so I didn't, I didn't think there would be more story to it. Through your journalistic skills, never thought about the research to find out that his real name was in fact Sandra? <laughs> well, I've uh, never been much of an investigative journalist, you know, I kind of report on what I see rather than digging for that real story, I think that's uh, maybe something I need to work on in the 2018-19 season, Paul. That's a good point, and uh, I think research is vital in, in this area. There's, there is one point I'd like to get to, uh, is that uh, Richard List, uh, uh, can you say an old stager at Doncaster Knights now, um, he's got long hair. Uh, is it true, I've heard the rumour through my research, that uh, if he does um, actually ever retire, that you want to cut his hair and uh, perhaps save it in a trophy cabinet for yourself? Well, um, there is an element of truth uh, to that story, but... Uh, there's actually been several fans that have uh, asked me for that and uh, people that make dolls out of his hair and uh, we've asked Richard about, you know, Dougie Flockhart very famously shaved his head on the stage down here at uh, Castle Park and I asked Richard if he would uh, repeat the feat for charity or similar and he said no because it won't grow back. Anyway, those that know Rich, who know him well and know him intimately and maybe know him without his top off know that he's one of the hairiest blokes you'll ever see so I think that research has been done into Yeah, I think that's hair. a bit boring now. You've, you've gone on about Richard List long enough. But I do would like to, I'd like to probably conclude the interview by asking you, uh, what, what do you think the supporters, why do they think like listening to you? Because I guess if they didn't listen to me, they have to listen to people like you, so given the choice, <laughs> it's not a bad option. And, and uh, this might be a little bit personal, but is it true that you've, you've said about Dunks tonight's front row players actually can't string a, a sentence together? Uh, no comment. I'll ask you again. Is it true that you said that Dunks tonight's front row players cannot string a sentence together? Putting you on the spot now. It's not true. It's absolute falsehood. Yeah, we'll believe that or believe it not. I'd like to thank Michael for coming and joining us on the pitch just before the match today. And uh, Michael, that was a very, very boring interview. Thank you. Thank you. I'd like to keep, you know, keep appearances. Thank you.